Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Ugh, so bored. Molly, study hall is for studying, so shh. Ugh, it's just so boring. I hate this period of the day. Well, with the board, Molly, you'll never get bored when you try something new. There's really no limit to what you can do. Um, no one ever said that about study hall in the history of ever. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Oh, an announcement. Maybe we all get to go home early. Praying for a blizzard. Playing, praying for a blizzard. Molly and Daisy, please report to the principal's office. What? I never go to the principal's office. What did I do wrong? Uh, you're probably getting detention. No, I can't get detention. No, no, no. Uh. Come on, Daisy. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's go. Oh my god, I can't believe it! Detention! What did I even do? Daisy, it's gonna be just fine. Trust me, I've had detention about a million times. It's not the end of the world. If you say so, Molly. <laughs> oh, girls, come in, come in. <sighs> Alright, now that you're both here, I can tell you the news. How many more detentions do I really need in one month? I've already had, like, 25. Well, Molly, um, that's not why you're here right now. I can't believe I got detention. What did I ever do to deserve this? Oh, Daisy, you don't have detention. You're a great student. <sighs> Girls, your mom has been in an accident. What? An accident? I can't get detention. Daisy, she didn't say we're, you're getting detention. She said mom's been in an accident. Well, is she okay? I'm afraid not, girls. Is she dead? I, I don't know very many details other than she's at Brookhaven Hospital and you both should go right away. Oh, thank you, Principal. Come on, Daisy. Oh, this is worse than I thought. I'll take the detention. I'll take a detention every day for you. I can't lose my mom. Daisy, it's going to be okay. We don't even know how, how hurt she is yet. Come on, let's go. Good luck, girls. Let us know how it works out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my mom. Oh, my gosh. I hope she's okay. Are you Molly and Daisy? Yes. Are you my mom's doctor? Yes, I'm Dr. Flibberbobber. Wait, what? Your name is Dr. what? Flibberbobber. Really? What's the last name like Flibberbobber? Well, my mom had it, my dad had it, now I do. I can't change my last name. I'm a good doctor, though, even though my last name is Flibberbobber. Okay, Dr. Flibberbobber. I can't even say that seriously. <laughs> Molly, this isn't a joking matter. Where's my mom? We heard she's been in an accident. Oh, yes. Um, come with me. Mom? Mom? Mom! I'm sorry, but she's in a coma and she can't hear you. In a coma? Daisy, are you coming in here? I can't come in. I'm too scared. Daisy, you can do this. Come on. Oh, my God. What happened? Well, your mom's in a coma. Uh, I'm going to do some x-rays right now. See if she's got any brain activity. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Daisy, this is bad. I know! I, I will take the detention! I'll take the detention! Okay. Well, there is brain activity. And a lot of stomach activity. Hmm. Oh, looks like she's got a bad case of indigestion, too. Hmm. I've seen this case before. I'll have to go back and report it to Molly and Daisy. So, your mom does have brain activity, and a lot of stomach activity. Well, maybe she ate a big breakfast. I mean, what's the prognosis, Dr. Flibberbobber? Well, she's in a coma, but I don't know. I don't know how much hope there is. What? I can't lose my mom! No! Well, well how did this accident happen? You know, your mom joined a hot dog eating competition today. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, it all started when... Mm. 
that's delicious. You're not supposed to eat anything before the competition, Sam. Well, I have won every single competition that I have entered. I am the eating champion of the world. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm just here for charity. I'm raising money for the local animal shelter. Wow, that sounds great. I'm raising money for me so I can eat all the things that I want and drive a cool car and live in a big house. I'm a celebrity, you know. You know. Yeah, for eating lots and lots of food. Wow, cool. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just here to help little defenseless animals. Yep. Well, that doesn't mean I'm going to let you win. Okay. Well, um, let's get started, I guess. Okay, we've narrowed down this competition to two contestants left. Laura, who's eating as many hot dogs as she can for charity, and Sammy, who's eating as many hot dogs as he can because he's greedy and he wants lots of money. Hey, what's wrong with wanting lots of money? I don't know, but I mean you are up against somebody who's doing this for charity. Yeah, Sammy, don't you feel kind of bad? Not at all. Okay, everybody prepare your hot dogs and... Go! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat so many hot dogs. They're gonna be ugh, starting to turn my stomach. I can eat more hot dogs than you. So far, Laura has eaten 10 hot dogs. Sammy has eaten nine. This is gonna be a close competition. That's it, that's it. I've eaten 399 hot dogs. I can't eat anymore. I can't eat anymore. And that makes me the winner. Laura? Laura, are you okay? The winner seems to be, seems to be in a food coma. So that's it. Your mom is in a food coma. Wait, what? Uh, that sort of sounds like something Molly would do. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, that's delicious. Excuse me, where did you get that hot dog? Uh, I found it in my mom's pocket. Molly, you eating one of the leftover hot dogs from the hot dog competition? I can't help myself. Mm, they're really good. Excuse me, no food in this room. This is a sterile environment for your mother being in a coma. Well, then maybe you should have taken the hot dog out of her pocket because the ketchup was starting to smear into her hospital gown. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, <laughs> the only thing I can think to do is give your mom some very potent medication. Will it make her get out of the coma? I don't know, but I hope so. This is the most severe case of food coma I've ever seen. Well, let's give her the medicine! What kind of medicine is it? It's called Pepto-Bismol. Ew! I've eaten that before! It tastes like... Yuck! Yeah, it totally tastes like garbage. Poor mom. I think it'll make her feel better and come out of her coma. I hope so. I don't want to live without my mom. She can't be in a food coma forever. Mom, please! Okay, I've administered the Pepto-Bismol. Now we wait. Can I eat the hot dog while I'm waiting? No! Okay, Dr. Knickerbocker. No, that's not my name. No, 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 Molly. It was Dr. Fluggy the Buggy Doo Wait, what? No... Okay, you guys can just call me doctor. Okay, doctor. She's not waking up. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh my god. My mom's gonna be in a coma forever! I do have one more treatment, but it is pretty experimental. Well, we can't leave her like this, right, Daisy? No, Miley, we can't. Okay, then it's settled. I'll do this. Why are you climbing up out of that chair? Um, I'm trying to get some leverage. Uh, okay. And here we go! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Ew! That was the grossest burp I've ever heard! What, what, what happened? Mom? Mom? Oh. oh, I ate too many hot dogs! Yeah, no kidding, Mom. You went into a food coma! Oh my gosh, I did? That was crazy! Mom, you're back! <laughs> what are you laughing about, Molly? <laughs> Not even I can eat enough food to end up in a food coma. Mom, you definitely won a competition. I think you might have even gotten in the World Book of Guinness Records. Wait, World... Guinness World Book of Records. That's what I meant! <laughs> For 
for being like the person who ate the most food that it put you into a coma. Yep, that's right. You did win a trophy for that. Congratulations. I've never seen a food coma like that one. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Ew, Mom, you farted. Sorry. Um, I have a little bit of an upset stomach from all those hot dogs. But I feel like a champion. And I want all the money for charity. Those poor little animals at the shelter will have lots of beds and food and all the things they need. <laughs> Ah, my mom was in a food coma. <laughs> mom, do I have to go back to school? Yeah, I think you should. No, no way! We will need to take care of you and give you some Beano or gas -X or something. All right, I guess we can all go home. Woohoo! Mom, I'm glad you didn't stay in a food coma forever. Me too, Molly. Me too. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> Molly, could you seriously be quiet? I'm doing something very important. Yeah, so am I. I'm watching cops. Bad boys, bad boys. Dad, I'm watching cops. Aren't you so proud? I am, Molly. I totally am. <laughs> now that you've joined the noob patrol force, I feel like I've got to watch cops a lot. You might actually star on one of the episodes. <laughs> Holy guacamole, that would be a dream come true. <laughs> I know, right? Guys, I'm trying to study for my driver's license test. Could you please be quiet? Oh, she's been bossy like this all day. Molly, have you been studying? Yeah, yeah, I got this down. Uh, the driver's test is so easy anyway. I'm going to go make a milkshake. Hey, Molly. Mom, I swear, every single time I come into this kitchen, you're doing dishes. I know, right? I totally need a vacation. Mmm, -hmm. mm, delicious. Molly, I was saving that for myself. Oh, well, I guess you can have it. Ah, uh, this is the life of having kids. Always sharing your snacks. <laughs> okay, Molly, you can use the computer. I'm ready for my test. Yeah, okay. All right, studying for the driver's license test. <laughs> Ugh, this is so boring. So boring. What else is there to do on here? Molly, what are you doing? Playing Roblox. Aren't you supposed to be studying for your driver's license test? I did. I totally did. For what, like 30 seconds? Mom, I'm going to ace the test. I promise. Okay, well, you're the one that doesn't get your license if you don't pass. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going to pass. I'm going to be fine. Okay. Holy Mom, we don't want to be late for our test. Don't worry, Daisy. We still have to drive safely. Mom, how safe is it that Daisy's riding on the tire? <laughs> I know, they gave me this rental Jeep and it's not big enough for my whole family. Wait a minute, the driver's license test is at the school? Ugh, that's dangerous. I like going to school. You would, Daisy. Molly, try not to be so negative and good luck on your driver's license test. Thanks, I'm not going to need it though. I'm going to do amazing. When's the test administrator going to get here? I don't know, it appears that he or she is late. I don't like tardiness. Hello there! Welcome to the driver's test. I see both of you have made it on time. I'm sorry I had to pull somebody over actually on the way here because they were speeding! Uh, Dad? I'm sorry, what's your name again? Dad, it's me, Molly, your daughter. Sorry, there is no dad here. Just Officer Smith. Officer Smith, I would like to ask you a question. Okay, how can I help you? What's your name? Her name's Daisy, Dad! I told you, I'm not Dad. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to take a point off for you calling me the wrong name. Okay, Officer Smith. <sighs> you know, you could have just given us a ride here and not made Mom, since we're all coming to Brookhaven School. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, now eyes on your own papers. I still have a question! Okay, what is it? What happens if I have to go to the bathroom during the time test and I can't get a good grade on my driver's license? Well, you should probably go now, then, because I'm about to start the test. Oh, I don't actually have to go. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, you're just getting a little nervous for nothing, Daisy. We all know you're going to ace this test. So am I. Uh-huh, sure you are, Molly. Thanks for your vote of confidence, officer. Okay, just take the test. There you go. All right. Wow, these are actually really hard. I wonder what Daisy got for question number one. C, okay? And B... And <laughs> good thing Daisy studied and I can copy off her. <laughs> 
Okay, pens down, test over. Please hand in your tests so I can look them over, grade them, and decide whether or not um, you can't have any freedom or not. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really, though. Wow, Dad. I like you as Dad better. When you're an officer, you kind of stink. What? I didn't even fart. Exactly. You just stink. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. How do I do? Well, you got a perfect score, Daisy. Driver's license coming your way. How do I do? Surprisingly, Molly, you got a perfect score, too. Yes! You both can have your driver's licenses. Congratulations. Yeah! Now I just need a job so I can buy a car. Woohoo! Huh, I'm kind of hungry. I want to go to Brookhaven Diner. This just in, this just in, breaking news. We are going to get a huge blizzard starting, well, uh... When is it starting, Brittany? Right about, well, now. Oh, man, a huge blizzard. Boring. I don't see any snow. See? It's not even snowing. Wow, Brittany was right. It is snowing right now. Burr, I need a coat. Whoa, it's snowing. It's so pretty and also freezing. Yeah, I'm going to go down to Brookhaven Diner in, in Mom's car. Wait, what? You can't drive in this. Are you crazy? Question number six of a driver's license test said, can you drive in a, in a blizzard? Yes or no? Yes! Yes! Marty, you passed the test. What do you mean, yes? Oh. I'm still going because I'm starving. And also, I love their ice cream and um, their cakes and stuff. Oh, they're so good. Molly, it's dangerous. Look, we just got our driver's licenses. Are you going to be lame and stay home the whole time? Well, I guess not. What are you wearing? I can only find this coat. It's from the science lab. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You do look ridiculous. But I guess you can come to the diner with me wearing that craziness. Well, I want to be warm, and it's the only coat I could find. <laughs> oh, brother. Now, come on. I still think this is a bad idea, Molly. It's fine. We'll be fine. Oh, my sister is so annoying. Molly, the roads look terrible. The roads are fine. Whoa, I was actually trying to go forward. The car went backward there. <laughs> my mistake. Molly, what are you doing? Do you even know where the road is? Yeah, it's somewhere over here. It looks like it's right about here. Molly, no! That's a huge cliff! Molly! Molly? This is OnStar. We've detected that you had an accident. Can anyone respond? Can anyone respond? Okay, we're sending out paramedics immediately. Molly, can you hear me, my beautiful daughter? Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Oh, how did this happen? It was a question on the test I gave her. Do you drive in a blizzard? And she answered no. Wait a minute. It would be just like Molly to cheat on her test, wouldn't it? No. She wouldn't be that naughty. Oh, Molly, please come back to me. Oh, I can't lose my daughter. <laughs> my beautiful Molly. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I know this is hard to see, but I do suspect that Molly will make a full recovery. Really? Yes, she's just resting right now. I gave her some medicine to sleep because she was pretty banged up. But good thing is that she only broke her arm. Really? Will she need surgery? No, she won't need surgery, but she just needs a lot of rest. It's your daughter Daisy that I, I really need to talk to you about. Really? What's wrong with Daisy? Let's go into her room. Oh, she looks terrible, Dan. I know she does, Laura, but I think everything's going to be okay. Actually, we're not sure about your daughter, Daisy. She obviously bonked her head very hard. We thought it was just a mild concussion, but she's now slipped into a coma. Wait, what? Is this a prank? No, I never prank about anything. I'm a doctor. Duh. That would be completely unprofessional. I did take a brain scan, though, and she's not a vegetable yet. That's good. I mean, I'm not a real big fan of vegetables. I don't even eat my broccoli when I'm supposed to. Yeah, me either. Well, you both should eat more broccoli. It's good for you. But I'm hoping that Daisy actually makes, well, a full recovery. I'm hoping for you both. Mom? Dad? Molly! You're awake! Molly! 
It's so good to see you. You shouldn't be out of bed. I'm so sorry. I, I, wait a minute. Is that Daisy? Daisy! Ah! What happened? Well, when you got in an accident, she got a bonk on her head. Now she's in a coma. Oh my god, I should have never cheated on my driver's license test! So you did cheat. Well, you're grounded for the rest of your life. Oh no, Daisy, please say something! She can't. She's in a coma. Oh my gosh, this is all my fault! Mama, ma, Molly? I, I, is that you? Daisy! She's waking up! Oh my gosh, Daisy! She's gonna be okay! Oh my gosh, I'll never cheat on a test ever again as long as I live! Daisy, you just have to be okay. Please! Be okay! Oh man, I'm starving! I wonder what's for breakfast. <gasps> Ooh, Mom made that breakfast pizza? That's gonna be so delicious! What? Wh where's all the breakfast pizza? Daisy, did you eat all the breakfast pizza? Yeah, and it was delicious. Ugh, sisters are so annoying. All right, I guess I'll just eat this waffle like I have to every other day. Ugh, breakfast pizza is one of my favorites. Mm, I guess this waffle's not too bad. I'm still hungry though, what else could I eat? Ooh, a banana. <laughs> that looks good too. Molly, are you gonna eat the entire house? Uh, maybe. I'm hungry. Duh. Don't be booed. Why are you yelling to me from the other room? That's rude. Hmm. That was good. Okay, I'm stuffed. Uh, I can't wait to watch that hamster video on YouTube. It's going to be adorable. Ugh. My sister's on the computer again. Okay, Daisy. It is 830 and that is my time to be on the computer. Says who, Molly? Says mom. Uh, she told you that last week that we have to share the computer, and I said from 8.30 to 9.30 is my time. But I'm busy doing something important. All you want to do is watch a hamster video. Daisy, get off the computer right now! You're so annoying! Molly, I'm not getting off this computer. Mom! Okay, fine, you tattletale. Ugh, you're so annoying. Whatever. <laughs> Finally, I can watch that hamster video. You too. Okay, I can't. Where is it? Oh, Roblox, homework, bank. Okay, I, I gotta turn this computer off and back on because obviously it's not working right. Where's the hamster video? <gasps> okay, that puppy is cute, but I really want the hamster video. Where's the hamster video? Okay, Molly. Um, I know it's still your turn to be on the computer, but I don't think that's very nice. Ah! Did you just spray me with a fire extinguisher? Daisy, get away from me! <laughs> You're the worst sister ever! Ah, I lost her. <laughs> Hi, everybody! Oh, hey, Brookie. Come on in. What you doing? Oh, I just came to see what you and Daisy are doing. Nothing much. Just being sisters. She's being so annoying right now. Don't you dare spray me with that! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys, what's going on? She's annoying! No, you're annoying! Don't you dare spray me with that! Well, hold still so I can! Ah, Daisy! Okay, I'm out of here. This is way too much drama for me. Brookie! No, Brookie, wait! Brookie! Oh, look what you did, Daisy! Brookie! Molly, what is it? I'm not gonna hang around while you and Daisy fight all day. That's not my idea of a fun day. Okay, I'm sorry that you got upset by seeing us fight, but my sister is so annoying. Okay, yeah, but she's still your sister. You guys have to learn to get along. You live together. And not only that, you're going to be family for life. Really? Because I wish I didn't even have a sister. Well, at least not Daisy anyway. Molly, how could you say that? You should be careful what you wish for. There's lots of people who wish they did have a sister. Well, they can have mine. I wish. I wish that Daisy wasn't my sister anymore. Ay, 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 Molly. Ugh, I, I don't know what to say, but I'm going home. I don't want to be around this. Brookie! Oh, fine. Go home then. Who needs you? Sisters can be so annoying, especially mine. Daisy, I don't know where you are with that fire extinguisher, but don't you dare try to spray me with it. Daisy? Oh, now we're playing some sort of messed up hide and seek game? If 
Fine, okay, I'll find you. Where are you? In the bathroom waiting waiting to spray me with this fire extinguisher? I don't think so, Daisy. Huh, my phone's ringing. It's probably Bro Brookie trying to apologize. <laughs> she knows that she can't live without me. Hello? Hello, is this Molly? Yeah, who's this? This is Dr. Smith. I have some really bad news. What kind of bad news? It's, well, your sister. Baby Kira? She's at daycare today. No, it's your sister Daisy. Daisy? But Daisy was just here. I don't know about all that, but your sister has, well, disappearing disease. Disappearing disease? What is that? You just need to get down to the hospital right away before she fades into nothing. Fades into nothing? Wait, what? Just get down here. Stat! Okay, I'll be right there. Daisy's sick? She was just here a minute ago. Disappearing disease? What's that? I've never heard of it. Oh, I better get to the hospital right away. I'm coming, Daisy. And this better not be a prank. Hello? Hello? I'm Molly. Are you Dr. Smith? Oh, hello. What can I do for you? You called me about my sister Daisy? Oh, yes, your sister Daisy. I'm afraid she's not going to make it. Wait, what? She was just at home five minutes ago. Yes, she has what's called disappearing disease. Come on, we'll go into her room. Uh, yes, I'm going into room one right now. Reporting in, I'm going into room one. Oh, wow, you have to report that you're going somewhere? Yes, of course. I tell all the nurses where I'm going so they know where I am. Daisy, your sister he is here to see you. Oh, Molly, I'm fading away. Daisy, how did this happen? Well, according to my research, and this is a new type of disease, your sister is suffering from disappearing disease because, well, you wished that she didn't exist. What? This is my fault? Yes, Molly. I'm going to fade away until there's nothing left and there's nothing anyone can do. Oh, my God. That's terrible. No, 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 no. We have to do something. Daisy, I swear I'm going to find a cure for this. Oh, my dear, there's no cure for disappearing disease. Once it's started, the patient just fades away. Do you need to talk to somebody about this? No! I need my sister to be okay! Daisy, I promise I'm going to find a cure! I will! Well, you better hurry, Molly, because I'm starting to fade even farther. Daisy, no! Just hang on! Hang on, Daisy! Where could I, where could I go? Maybe, maybe into the lab at the hospital. Yeah. I could mix together a potion or something. Well, so far, all you've done is run in circles. That's not very helpful. Okay, well, I didn't know where I was going, okay? Whoa, what part of the hospital is this? It looks like an old abandoned part of the hospital. Weird. This gives me the creeps up here. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> ah! Oh my god, it's a, it's a monster? It's a vampire? Witch? In the hospital? <laughs> I've lived in this abandoned part of the hospital for many years. <laughs> I feed off the poor, sick individuals who are in the hospital. Wow, that sounds sort of, well, really evil. <laughs> well, I guess it goes without saying that you're a bad witch. I don't even ask if you're a good witch or a bad witch. Well, <laughs> every witch can be a good witch for a price. Oh, really? Well, I've got a problem. Maybe you can help me with it. What is it? <laughs> well, first of all, I can stop laughing like that. It's really creeping me out. <clears throat> Did you just fart? Yeah, I, I fart when I get really nervous. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, oh, that stinks. Oh, Sorry about that. Even a witch knows when something's super stinky. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm stinky. Okay, got it. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. If it has to do with that stinky, I don't think so. No, it's, okay, I got off on the wrong foot here. My sister, she's, she's fading away. She's gonna die from disappearing disease. Oh, somebody wished that she didn't exist. Yeah, it was me. I'm a horrible sister, I have to fix this. Do you have a spell or a potion or anything? I'll pay you anything you want. You could have my allowance for the rest of my life. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't need anything like that from you. I'll do this one with the kindness of my heart. 
Really? It's not a trick? Oh, me trick you? <laughs> of course not. Here, I'll get you the potion right away. Whoa, it's in a Starbucks cup. <laughs> Is Starbucks the magic potion? I mixed it with a Starbucks smoothie so it tastes better. Wow, maybe you weren't a bad witch after all. You should try not to feed off of people's energies from the hospital, though. That's not very nice. Well, I have to get my powers from somewhere. Good luck, Molly. I don't think I told you my name. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, oh well. Oh, I gotta get back to Daisy. How do I get out of this abandoned part of the hospital? It's really creepy in here. Is that a zombie? Okay, yep, definitely need to get this back to Daisy. Daisy! Daisy, I'm coming! I have a cure! Oh, Molly, I feel it's too late. No, it's not! Stop being a baby! See, this is why I'm disappearing to begin with. You're so mean. Here, Daisy. Take this. You need to have it. Woo, this tastes like Starbucks. Yeah, the witch I got it from mixed it with Starbucks. Witch? Molly? Haven't you learned your lesson about spells and potions? Too late. You've already drank it, and I don't see much of a choice. If you're going to die anyway, might as well try anything. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Daisy, wh what's happening? Is it working? No. I think my disappearing disease is getting worse. Daisy, where are you? Molly, I've just about disappeared. There's nothing left of me. That witch tricked me. There is no cure, Molly. No cure at all. What? But, Daisy, I don't want you to disappear forever. You're my sister and I love you and I'm sorry I wished for you to go away. I'm so sorry. Please, come back to me, Daisy. You're back. You're, you're, you're back. Not quite, Marley. I still feel awful. Daisy, I am sorry. I'm sorry for what I'm saying to you. I said to you. I didn't mean it. Marley, I think your tears are making me battle. Keep crying. I'm sorry for that time at Easter that I snuck in and stole your candy from your Easter basket. Molly, you were the one? I thought you said mice got into the house. Yeah, well, <laughs> call me Molly Mouse. Ugh, Molly! I'm sorry, though. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry for the time that I put a whoopee cushion on your seat at school, and it sounded like you farted really loud in front of your crush. I'm sorry. Ugh, you really are the worst sister sometimes. Daisy, you're starting to look, well, more like yourself. Keep confessing, Molly. I'm sorry for all the times that I ate all the pizza and all the snacks and, 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 and didn't leave you any. Oh, Marty, I think, I think I feel better. Seriously? Yeah, Marty. Daisy, I really am sorry for wishing that you weren't my sister. Well, I think you've learned your lesson. I really have, Daisy. I really have. Now, come on. Let's go home. Okay, but only if we can stop for ice cream with your allowance. With my allowance? Are you kidding me, Daisy? I, I just went through all this trouble to cure you, and and, 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 and and I had to speak to a witch, and it was terrifying, and, and now you want to spend my allowance? Yeah, Molly, you're going to, because you gave me disappearing disease. I swear, you're the greediest sister alive! Are you really going to fight with me right now, Molly? I really am! Oh, brother, we're always going to fight, aren't we? Yeah, pretty much, but I still love you. I love you too, Molly. I love you too. Molly, come on. Get out of the bathroom. I really have to go. Um, I'll be out in like a half an hour. Molly, come on. I have to go in the bathroom. Get out of there. I'm really busy right now. Um, brushing my teeth and taking a shower. Molly, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. Molly, I can see you right now. Are, are you just watching YouTube on your iPad? You're not even using the bathroom. I'm using it for privacy. I, I'm so tired of you nagging me all the time. Well, maybe I wouldn't nag you if you weren't stuck in the bathroom all the time. Now, come on. I really have to go. Fine. You're the most annoying sister in the entire world. Oh, sorry, I have to use the bathroom, Molly. Oh, that makes me the worst sister that I'm human. Yeah, it really does. Eh, I guess I'll just play on the computer. Let's see. I want to try to find a good game to play. Or some funny videos to watch. 
<laughs> Look at these fat cats. They're like flying through the air. Molly, excuse me, but I have to use the computer to do some research for schoolwork. What? No, I was here first. Molly, you know the rules. Mom and Dad said if we're doing homework, we get to use the computer first. Whoever's doing the schoolwork, that is. I don't care. I'm watching this funny video. I already had to leave the bathroom so you could use it. Uh, yeah, because I had to go to the bathroom. And now I have to do my schoolwork, so seriously, get off the computer! Ugh, I'm so sick of you being my sister. Tell me about it, Molly. If I didn't have a sister, the world would be a better place. Rude! Daisy! Oh my gosh, my sister is so getting on my nerves. It's okay, I'm just gonna eat the waffles. Mmm. I'm gonna eat every last waffle we have because they're delicious. Ooh, mm. With a little bit of butter on them, so good. Oh my, I'm feeling quite hungry for breakfast. I go have some waffles, that sounds pretty good. Where is all the waffles? Um, in my stomach. What? You ate every last waffle, you pig! What, I was super hungry. Molly, all I wanted was a waffle for breakfast, how could you? Oh, you're driving me crazy! Um, I'm sorry, but too late now. <laughs> They're delicious. Oh, brother, look, Molly, I have to have a serious conversation with you. You do? About what? About you being, oh, yourself! Well, sorry, Daisy, I can't be anybody myself. Um, I know you can't be anybody but yourself, but maybe you could just work on yourself just a little bit and be nicer with your sister. Not a chance! And I think it's rude you should even mention it. I'm doing my best here, Daisy. And, and well, if you don't like me, maybe you should just leave. I am going to leave, Molly. This is getting ridiculous. I don't need to live with a sister like you. I don't need to live with a sister like you. Goodbye! See you later, Molly! Sayonara! Ah, this is the life. No sister and peace and quiet. Hmm, I wonder what's on TV. Oh, wow, a new episode of Brooke High, Daisy's favorite show. She would have loved this episode, I bet. Oh, well, she's not here. Oh, my stomach's growling again. <laughs> my stomach's always growling. Let's see what's in the fridge. Ooh, Reese cups. Mmm, these are Daisy's favorite. And there's an extra one. Oh, that's too bad that she's not here, though. Well, I guess I better start on my math homework because mm, this Reese cup really is good. If I don't do my math homework, then I'll get detention again. And I don't need any more detentions because seriously, I've had like 100 this year. <laughs> oh, this math homework is super hard. How am I ever going to figure this out? I wish Daisy was here. She, she knows how to do math homework. Well, this hotel is pretty nice, but it's not like my home, you know? It just, it feels like, it doesn't feel like it's a home. It feels like I'm just staying in a hotel all by myself. It's kind of lonely. Wait a minute. I know how to solve my loneliness. I'll buy a big mansion and that'll solve everything. This is going to be the biggest mansion ever in Brookhaven. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to be so happy here. Wow, look at this place. Holy guacamole. There's one, two, three, like four floors. Oh, yeah, I'm living the life now. I can't get over this place. It's amazing. Holy guacamole. Molly would love this indoor pool. Going in the pool is sort of her thing. Uh, well, she's not here. I guess I'll have to get in the pool by myself. It'll still be fun, though. Ah, this water feels amazing. She's not here to play Marco Polo with, though. I guess I'll just play it by myself. Who needs her anyway? Marco! Fish out of water! Just kidding. There's no one here to play any games with. Who am I kidding right now? I miss Molly! <laughs> My sister's so annoying and I still love her! What's wrong with me? <laughs> I can't be without Molly, even though she drives me insane! <laughs> well, I guess I have no choice but to go 
come home. Ay, 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 I have to live with her forever, even though she drives me nuts. I will not admit that I miss my sister. I'll just keep eating my feelings. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm one Dorito bag away from feeling better. I don't miss my sister. I don't miss her at all. <laughs> I miss Daisy. <laughs> Molly? Daisy? What are, what are you doing here? Well, I... I will, uh... Whoa, are those Doritos? Those smell delicious. Yeah, you want some? No, not really. Look, Molly, I, I, I really just... I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something, too. Molly, you just spit Dorito on me. Gross! Oh, sorry. Try not talking with your mouth full. Well, try not being so rude! Molly! Okay, let's not fight, Molly. The reason why I'm here is... Because I missed you. Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're the most annoying sister on the planet. You miss me? Seriously? And wait a minute. I'm not annoying. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, we agreed not to fight. Well, at least for the next five minutes while we're making up. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Those Doritos really were good. Molly, focus. Okay, Daisy. I'm, I missed you too. You did? Yeah. Don't ever leave again, okay? We're sisters for life. Even though we drive each other crazy? Even though we drive each other crazy. Oh, Molly. <sighs> I wouldn't want a more annoying sister than you. I wouldn't want a more bossy and, and know-it-all sister than you. I'm not a know-it-all. Well, I hope you are because uh, I have this math homework and I can't figure it out. Okay, Molly, I'll tutor you in math. Let's go over to the couch and take a look at the problems. Thanks, Daisy. Do you mind if I eat some potato chips while we do that? Molly! Focus! Okay, how about some Reese cups? Molly! Fine, I'm doing my homework. I'm doing my homework. Uh, having you as a sister sure is a challenge. Tell me about it. I can't believe it, King Dan. We're going to be parents in a few short hours. I know. I'm so excited. I'm finally going to have my son. Oh, our daughter. How do you know it's not going to be a princess? I'll be happy if it's a boy or a girl, as long as they're happy and healthy. Me too. I always thought I was going to have a princess, but maybe I'll have a prince. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Until the moment arrives. Have you been working on the nursery? Absolutely, follow me and I'll show you. Wow, this room sure is fit for a princess. Or a prince. I mean, I'll have to paint the walls and stuff if it's a prince. You're really sure that it's going to be a princess, aren't you? Yeah, I really am. Whoa, three beds. What do we need three beds for? Don't tell me we're having triplets. Oh, so many diapers, so many bottles, so many babies. <laughs> oh, King Dan, calm down. We are not having triplets. Well, as far as I know, anyway. As far as you know? So you mean there's a possibility? <laughs> there's always a possibility. But so far, I'm only having one that I know of. This is just to try out three different beds to see which one is the most comfy for our baby. Oh, phew. I thought we were going to have three royal babies. And three royal dirty diapers. And three nighttime feedings. And three... It's okay, Dan. Take a deep breath. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just so excited. I was just a little worried about three babies. It's okay. Uh, well, I'm kind of tired. I think I'm going to rest now. And I have to get to work. <laughs> I'll see you later, honey. Bye. I can't believe I'm going to be a mom. Hey, sister. Oh, hey, Dora. Whoa. What, what, what are you wearing? Your your hair looks so different. And, and your skin is green. And, and your outfit is, well, very different. I'm very different now. <laughs> I'm finally myself. <laughs> what do you mean you're finally yourself? Weren't you yourself before? No. I was covering my true identity as a witch. What? You're a witch? Uh, are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> I'm a bad witch. Um, I can sort of tell by the evil laugh. Dora, why? Mom and Dad would not approve of this. 
I don't care. It's how I am. <laughs> it's how I was born. Well, actually, I was cursed. But anyway, I'm a witch now. And a witch I shall ever be. Dora, you don't have to do this. Turn back now. Sorry. <laughs> and I think for my first curse, I shall curse your firstborn baby. What? Dora, no. Not the baby. Anyone but the baby. <sighs> no. Uh, yes. The night that your baby is born, I will return. And I will curse her forever. <laughs> Dora, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be a dad. I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> I was supposed to go to work, but I'm just so excited. I think I'm going to dance on the dance floor instead. Is she, is she crying? I better go find out what's wrong. Queen Laura, what, what, what's wrong? <laughs> Why are you crying? It's, it's okay. It's really not okay. And Dora was here. Your sister, Dora? What, what's going on? She's a witch, Queen Dan. She's a witch. A witch? Is she a good witch or a bad one? Definitely a bad one. Definitely a bad one. Why? What'd she say? She said she's going to curse our firstborn baby on... On the day that they're born. Well, actually, on the night that they're born. But still, it's bad. It's really bad. OMG. Don't worry about a thing, Queen Laura. I will tell all of our guards at the castle to ban, to ban your sister Dora from the castle forever. And she won't even be able to get near the baby. I hope it works. I really do. Trust me, it will. Okay. Oh, no. This is bad. This is so bad. Oh, my gosh. She's here. The baby is here! And it's a... It's a... Girl! Oh! Hi, little princess! You're so adorable! What happened? What's going on? Oh my gosh! Is that it? Is that a... Is that a princess? Oh! She's adorable! Oh, I love her! What are we going to name her? I don't know, Dan. What should we name her? Well, I think we should name her Molly. Oh, I love that name. Hi, Princess Molly. I'm your mommy. And I'm your daddy. <laughs> I really thought you wanted a boy. I thought I did too, but now that I see my little princess, my heart is so full. Oh. But but what what about your sister? Well, didn't you tell the guards that she was banished? Yeah, I just hope that she doesn't have a magic spell that can get through it. Me too. But right now, all I can focus on is my beautiful baby. Yeah, she sure is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go check with the guards and make sure that, that, they're, that they're standing on guard and that, and that that evil witch can't come back in here. Good idea, King Dan. Good idea. I'll stay here with Princess Molly. Right, Molly? I said to put that to you. Ha 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 ha! Ah! Witch Dora, how did you get in here? I'm magic. <laughs> Your guards can't stand up to me. Now let me see my niece. Not a chance! Ah! Oh, that little brat cries a lot. Hey! Get out of here, Dora! Queen Laura, run! I'll take care of everything! Um, but Dan, what about you? Just run! Okay! Come on, come on, princess! We've gotta go! Wait, I have to curse that baby! <laughs> princess, I, I hate to do this! I, I'll miss you for my entire life, but... But... There's a ship down there, and it's gonna take you to a new land! Where my evil witch sister can't put a curse on you. You'll be safe there, little baby. You'll be so safe. All aboard! All aboard! Oh, <laughs> Princess Molly, I'm going to miss you for the rest of my life. I think I'll like to die, little Oh, I'll never forget your sweet little face. 
Go and live your life and be safe, my beautiful daughter. I'm going to miss you. Wow, I can't believe it. My first day of high school. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> Excuse me. Get over here, Molly. Oh, that's my stepsister, Sarah. She really doesn't like me. You see, I was adopted. And, well, she just thinks that I'm, like, supposed to wait on her all the time. Get over here, Molly. Don't talk to any of my friends. I don't want them to think that you're actually, like, partly my sister. Um, by the way, I'm all your sister. I was adopted. Uh, yeah, you're my stepsister. Ugh, get out of here. Actually, I'm your real sister because I was adopted into the family. I call you my stepsister because I don't even want to admit that, like, you're even, like, 100% my sister. Maybe I should call you, like, my quarter sister or, like, my not sister. You're so rude, Sarah. Why are you so rude to me? Whatever. So, go get me some breakfast. I'm hungry. Why? Because if you don't, I'm going to tell mom. Oh, you've already gotten me in enough trouble with them. That's right. Now go make me something to eat. Okay, fine. Um, what do you want? I don't care. Just get me anything. Actually, yes, I do care. Um, I want a, um, I want a cookie. Okay, fine. Um, breakfast isn't even being served yet. It doesn't matter. I still want it. Okay, well, I need your card. Yeah, right. Spend your allowance on it. Sarah, you're so rude. Ugh. So sick of my sister right now. Or as she calls me, her stepsister. Or her quarter sister. Or her not a sister. Um, what should I get? I'm starving. Oh, hi there. I I'm Brookie. Oh, hey. I'm not supposed to talk to anybody. What? Why? Um, uh, are you in trouble? Do you have detention? No. It's my first day of school. I, I don't have detention. Well, why can't you talk to anybody then? My sister told me I can't. Well, I mean, Sarah told me. Oh, is Sarah your sister? Um, uh, she, 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 said, she said not to tell anybody because I'm not cool and she doesn't want anybody to know. Oh, <laughs> well, everybody knows that she has a sister. You're the adopted sister, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the adopted sister. Excuse me, I have to give her her cookie right now or she'll be grumpy. You know, you don't have to wait on her. She's not in charge of you. Really? You think so? Yeah. And guess what? I'd love to be your friend. You would? Yeah, now eat that cookie and show her who's boss. You want me to eat her cookie? Well, you paid for it, so really it's yours. Yeah, true. Mm. This is really delicious. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you eating my cookie? Um, well, it's sort of her cookie. No one asked you, you nerd. Hey! Quit being mean to my new friend. Are you standing up to me? I don't think so. Oh, you ate the last bite of that cookie. How could you? I'm going to tell mom on you. Oh, my gosh. Your sister is such a brat. Tell me about it. Did you just call me a brat? That's it. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you both have detention for the rest of your lives. Yeah, right. I'm such a good student. Um, actually, she's got some sort of wand. What, what's this all about? Your sister has magic powers? Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everybody run. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. My sister's going to curse me with detention forever, and it's my first day of school. <sighs> this isn't going so good. This isn't going so good. Where are you? I told you you have to do exactly what I say. Sarah, did you trick your sister and make you think you had magic powers? Yeah, it was awesome. Wait, what? She just tricked me? You don't actually have magic powers? Of course I don't. <laughs> now, you're going to scrub my floors of my room when we get home. You're going to make me awesome chocolate chip cookies. You're going to do all of my homework for the rest of time just to make it up to me how you treated me this morning. Sarah, I've got to tell you something. I'm super sick of you. What? What did you say? I said, I'm tired of you bossing me around. Uh-oh, this isn't going to end well. I, 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 I don't think you're my sister at all. Oh, good. I think that you're more like, mm, 
not my sister at all. You just are my, well, waiter. What? And my cleaner and my homework doer. <laughs> ah, this is making me so upset. Ah! What, 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 what did you do to me? I'm so ugly. Uh, actually, I just exposed what you really are. If you're ugly on the inside, then you're going to be ugly on the outside. Whoa, Molly, you have magical powers. Yeah, and you never told me about it. And now I'm ugly. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even think that I'm a human. Yeah, you're an ugly alien. Sarah, be quiet. I'm trying to think. Come on, Molly. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. That's a good idea. Yeah, before I tell everyone that you're magic and you're evil. Oh my gosh. I can't ever go back here again. It's going to be okay, Molly. It really is. Brookie, I think... I think it's time to find out who my real parents are. What do you mean? I mean, my my adopted family told me that I came here on a ship and I have to find out from where. Obviously, I come from a different land where there's magic. Wow, Molly, we just became friends. I wish you could stay longer. Me too, Brookie, but when I find out where I came from, I'll be back. Okay, Molly, well, good luck on your quest. Thank you, I'm gonna need it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have magical powers. Where did they come from? I never had them before until I got really angry at my stepsister, Sarah. And now, or my half-sister, or my no-sister, whatever she calls me. She doesn't want to admit that I'm her sister. But anyway, I got really mad at her and my powers came out. Now I have to research where I came from. I have to know. Where do magical powers come from? See what Google has to say. There's a special land where everybody has magical powers, good and bad, but it's far from here. You have to take a special boat. Okay, that's it. I have to get on this boat and I have to go find my mom and dad. If they're still there, I don't know what I'm going to find out, but I have to know. try to find my mom and dad wow look at this place this land is amazing there's an ice castle and and another castle there's so many castles here it makes me wonder if if maybe my parents are king and queen <laughs> yeah right that would never happen <laughs> that would make me a princess and i don't feel like a princess nope I feel more like a servant, especially with my, well, my sister Sarah. Ah, it's such a beautiful day. I wonder what my beautiful princess Molly is doing. Gosh, she must be 15 years old now. I haven't seen her in so long. I wish I could see my baby again. <laughs> what are you doing, servant? Oh, oh, uh, hi, Dora. I was just taking a little bit of a break because I was so tired from doing all the chores and stuff. There are no breaks here. And you're to address me as Queen Dora. Uh, yes, Queen Dora. Uh, very, 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 very true. You are the queen now. So, uh, yes, Queen Dora. Have you been thinking about Princess Molly again? Ha, huh, I wish I could have gotten my hands on her. But you sent her far away where I could never find her before I could curse her. Um, no, I wasn't thinking about her. I don't know who's that. I don't even know who that is. Oh, yeah, right. You will scrub all of the palace's toilets for this one. Okay, Queen Dora. I, I will do it. I'll go now. Hurry up, too. My dinner needs to be done by five o'clock. Okay. Wow, look at this place. It's the most beautiful castle I've ever seen. La, 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 la. I can't believe I'm finally here. Whoa, a tea party with some cake. I'm starving. Those pirates on the ship didn't have very good food. Mmm, cupcakes and 
Mmm, juice and tea. Oh, look at those cookies. Those look delicious. <laughs> Who is this? A visitor to our island? <laughs> Hello there. Who might you be? Oh, hi. I'm Molly. Who are you? I'm Dora, the queen of this faraway land. Molly, you say, huh? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'm looking for my parents. You see, I found out that I had magic, and um, they said this is where magic comes from. Oh, really? <laughs> I think I know exactly who your parents are. Follow me. <laughs> wow, she laughs a lot. Must be they're really happy here. Dan, you shouldn't be wearing your crown. You know how up that upsets Queen Dora. I'll never call her Queen Dora. She's not my queen. She's an evil witch. And you and I are king and queen forever. I know, Dan. We have to figure out how to how to get her out of this place. But but right now, we just need to go back to scrubbing toilets. Are we really going to be in trouble? Oh, I don't want to. I know. But it's what we need to do right now. And we can take comfort in the fact that Princess Molly is safe in a faraway land. Okay. <laughs> Here's what you were looking for. Um, okay. It's two people about to scrub toilets. What's this all about? This is your parents, I think. <laughs> what? They're servants here? I don't care. If they're my parents, I'm going to love them. <laughs> Go say hello. Hi. Um, I, 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 I think I know you. Um, I'm not sure that I know you. Who, who are you? Yeah, where did you come from? I've never seen you here before. Um, my name is, my name is Molly. What? What did she say? I think she said her name was, was, was Molly. Yeah, it is Molly. C could it be? Could it be our princess? Princess? What are you guys talking about? You scrub toilets. Wait a minute. Are you wearing a crown on your head? I told you you should have taken that crown off. Um, yes, I am, because I was once the mighty King Dan. And I was once the beautiful Queen Laura, and we had a beautiful baby. Her name was Princess Molly. What? Are you serious? That's right. And, well, an evil witch took over our, our land, and so I put her on a giant ship and sent her to Earth so that she could be safe. Oh my gosh! You guys are my... You're my parents! Like my real parents! And, and, and I never knew what happened until I got really mad at my... my well, she's not really my sister, but she doesn't want me to be her sister. But anyway, I was adopted by her family, and she just hates me, and she was being mean to me again. And so I used my magic powers, and whammo, I found out that I really belonged here to you guys. Wait a minute. You were born with magic powers? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Yes. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Well, I, I, don't, I, 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 don't, I don't really know. I, I, I just started using my powers. I... I <laughs> She's going to be a bad witch, of course. <laughs> what? No, no, I'm not. A bad witch? No. Not my only daughter. No, this can't be. Oh, my heart is broken. No. No, this can't be. Tell us it's not true. It's not true. I'm not a bad witch. I'm I'm no witch. I'm just, I have magic powers and I'm Molly. I'm not a, I'm not a witch. You must choose. <laughs> Good witch or bad witch? <laughs> Well, then I choose to be a good witch. Wrong answer, Princess Molly. I'm a princess. Holy guacamole, I'm a princess! <laughs> Not for long. Pretty soon you're going to be a hideous, evil, bad witch just like your auntie. Who's my aunt? You're looking at her. Oh, you're my aunt? You're really ugly. She wasn't always that way. She just turned that way when her heart turned to stone. <laughs> I like that my heart was turned to stone. <laughs> never! You'll never make me a bad witch! And, and, and this kingdom belongs to my parents! You evil witch! <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Molly, no! Are you okay? I'm okay! I put up a force field around myself! And now it's time for you to become, I don't know, good or something. I don't think that's possible, Molly. Just try to, just try to banish her from the, the kingdom forever. 
<laughs> Your magic is no match for mine. We'll see about that. I've got good on my side, and good always wins. Evil always wins. Good! Evil. <laughs> good! What's happening to me? What's happening? I feel... I feel weird. I feel like I'm disappearing. Ah! Where did she go? What, what, what happened? I don't know. I think she's gone. Princess Molly, you've banished the evil witch from our kingdom. And you guys are king and queen again. Oh, my daughter. I knew you were going to be special and wonderful, but I never imagined you'd be this amazing. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too, Mom. And you too, Dad. Oh, my little princess. And now we can live happily ever after. Yeah, I just, I'm just going to miss my friend that I made in Human World. Well, now that you're magic, you can bring her here anytime. That's right. You just have to say her name and she'll be instantly teleported to you. OMG, this place is amazing! And I love you guys. I can't believe I finally get to be with my mom and dad. Well, believe it, because here you are. <laughs> yeah, and everybody say, hey, Princess Molly, because that's what I am. Hey, Princess Molly. Hey, Princess Molly. <laughs> Daisy, put on your bathing suit. Come on, we can go in the hot tub. Ooh, that sounds fun, Molly. I'm putting it on right now. Do you have to sing about it, though? Yeah, because look how adorable I look. It's like this 1950s vintage look. Whatever, Daisy. Who cares about your bathing suit? Get in the hot tub. Ooh, the water is too hot. Too hot. Molly, you're being so dramatic. I go hot tub. I go too. No, baby Kira, you're too little. Stay out there. This is for the big kids. Ah. <sighs> That feels awesome. I go in the hot tub. I go, I go. Ah, uh, you have to ask mom because you're not allowed in here without a grown up, and we're not grown ups yet. What's going on out here? I go hot tub with my Daisy. Sorry, I'm making lunch right now, baby Kara, so you can't because I can't watch you. But you are going with the big girls. I don't understand why. Well, because you're not a big girl, honey, so you can't go in right now. But maybe later we'll go in, okay? I go get a big girl. Um, baby Kira, newsflash, you're not a big girl. Ha! <laughs> ah, this starts to, like, make you sweat after a while because this hot tub is so hot. That's what it's supposed to be, Monty. A hot tub. Ay, ay, ay. Do you even pay attention in school? Ugh, being in the hot tub made me super hungry. Hmm, I wonder what kind of snacks we have. No, no. Ooh, pizza. What else do we have? Waffles. Ooh, sounds delicious. Hmm, that all looks good. Yeah, if you want a snack, you're going to have to ask mom. I'm busy right now eating my snack. Okay, I'm not sure that was English, baby Kira. Hmm, so good. Too short, can't wait, hungry. I go, I get bottle. I climb up, I get snack. I, I love snack. Oh, fell out. I, I climb up here. <gasps> I win, sir. I win, sir. I get snack too. <gasps> What's going on? Baby, baby Kira, what are you doing with that ladder? You're going to get hurt. Oh, if you need a snack, you have to ask. My Daisy, don't ask. I know they don't ask because they're big girls and you're not. All right, get down from that ladder and I'll get you a snack. Ay, ay, ay. Keeping a toddler alive is the hardest job ever. Marty, what you doing? What you doing? OMG. Look at this new Roblox game. It looks so fun. Ooh, look, there's roller coasters in it. I definitely want to play too. Shovel for Marley. I want a turn. When I die, you can have a turn. But until then, nope. Well, that shouldn't take too long. That's it, Daisy. You are so rude about my Roblox playing. I'm totally going to get you for that. No, you're not, Molly, because you are so slow. Daisy, get back here. Ooh, why do I do fun things on computer? Because I'm big going. Ooh, shopping. Ooh, bank. I could get into bank, get money, and go shopping. Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira, you're not allowed on the computer without supervision. I'm big girl, I can't. 
No, you can't. Oh my gosh. Ah, get off the computer, please. I can't do anything. Okay, that's it. You need a nap. But my Daisy told to take a nap. That's because they're big girls. You're not a big girl. I like it. Okay, into bed, please. You definitely need a nap. Fine. I hate my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, you hate your life and you're only two? Oh, you have a long way to go, baby Kira. I'll see you in a couple of hours. I don't see you ever. Because, because I'm running away forever. <laughs> Baby Kira, it's been two and a half hours, you sleepyhead. Baby Kira? Where, where's Baby Kira? <gasps> Is that window broken? Oh my god! Baby Kira ran away! Molly, Daisy, I need your help! Mom, if you need my help doing more chores, I'm off duty. Oh, I'm so tired. Just need to watch this adorable puppy and relax. And maybe eat an extra piece of pizza. Mmm. Pizza. Molly, help, help, help. What What are you freaking out about, Mom? What's wrong? Baby Kira, she, 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 she ran away. What? She, she ran away? Yes. I, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to call 911 and you and your sister should go look for her. Okay, I'll get right on that as soon as I finish my pizza. Molly, no. Okay, I'll take my pizza to go. Baby Kira, baby Kira, where are you? I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm a big girl. Baby Kira. Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira. Well, maybe she got a hotel room. Wait a minute. How would she do that? She, she doesn't have any money. <gasps> maybe she stole mom's credit card. I should go in and ask the person behind the desk. Hello? Is anybody here? Apparently, they're sleeping in one of the rooms because they're tired. <laughs> just log in myself and see if she's checked in. Baby Kira. Okay, she didn't check into the motel. Hmm. She's sitting in the diner? Good thing I ate that pizza because I'm doing a lot of running around. No, she's not in the diner. Baby Kira! Where are you? We miss you so much! Wait a minute, if I was Baby Kira, where would I go? The ice cream shop. Although I think they're closed right now because it's already like 7.30 at night. No, no, baby Kira, but they left the doors open, so I think I need a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm. Huh, why is my phone ringing? Hello? <laughs> Molly, are you at the ice cream shop right now? Um, uh, uh, how did you know that, Mom? Because I just had an idea that you'd have to stop for a snack. Your sister is more important than mint chocolate chip, right? Uh, yeah, sure, Mom, totally. I've been looking around for her, though, and I don't see her. Keep looking, Molly. I'm so worried. Yeah, me too. But I'm sure everything's gonna be okay. I hope so. I really hope so. Baby Kira? What? What are you? What are you doing? You put up a tent? Ew! What's that smell? A sandwich I got from the dumpster. Ew! Don't eat dumpster sandwiches. What's going on, Baby Kira? Oh my God! We found her. Baby Kira, you have to come home. I'm never gonna come. Back home. I don't want you. I stay here. Why? We're your family. Don't you love us? You don't love me. Baby Kira, that's not true. We love you more than anything. Why would you say that? Yeah, baby Kira, why would you say that? Because cause you guys are big girls said die, die. Oh, you're not a big girl? No, you're not. But you know what? Daisy and I were little girls like you once. You were? Yeah, we were, huh, Daisy? Yeah, we were toddlers and we pooped our pants and all sorts of stuff. Well, we didn't have to tell her that detail. You did? You wore diapers? And you were big girls? Of course we weren't big girls. <laughs> you don't just come out this way. I mean, you have to grow. Pretty soon, you'll grow up too. Really? Dad can do big girl stuff? Of course you can, baby Kira. It's only a matter of time before you grow up. Yeah, baby Kira. And then you'll be able to do all the big kid stuff just like us. Wow, Freddy. How long? Um, just a few more years. Then you'll be a big girl. But you should enjoy being a toddler right now because 
It's pretty amazing to be a baby. You get lots of snuggles from mom. You get bottles. You get someone to change your diaper. Oh. Molly! Seems like I need someone to change my diaper. <laughs> Ew, dinky. <laughs> so will you come home with us? Yeah, I miss you guys. Oh, we missed you too, baby Kira. No more running away. Yeah, no more running away. I big girl someday. That's right. Someday you're going to be a big girl. Molly, as your boss, I really feel that you need to listen to me when I give you instructions on how to do something. Okay, but I know how to clean off the counter. You just take a paper. Are you even listening? No, I'm not. Just do it the way I want, okay? <sighs> Fine. This job is so lame. I just, I'm so sick of everything and everyone in Brookhaven. Okay, I'm back. Are you done complaining now, Karen? Rude. Molly, are you ready to go? I'm here to pick you up from your job. In a minute. I, I still have to clean the counter, apparently. I didn't do it right. Okay, so when you're cleaning the counter, all you have to do is take a paper towel and wipe it down, right? With some disinfectant spray. Uh, yeah, but you are wiping to the left and you really need to wipe to the right. What? Ugh. I am so tired of everything at Brookhaven right now. Molly, I've got the car. Let's go. Fine. I'm coming. Wow, Molly, you seem super grumpy. What's your deal? My deal is, is that everybody is annoying me. Am I annoying you, Molly? Daisy, stop singing that song. You know I hate it. I know. I'm trying to ignore you. Daisy, I'll just walk home. Molly! What? I'm just... Oh, this town is crazy. It's getting too crowded. And Whoa, Molly, look. Somebody's car is on fire. Holy guacamole. Um, excuse me. Your car's on fire. Okay, I better go up to the door and tell them. Knock, knock. Hello? Excuse me? Um, hi. What do you want? Seriously. Um, I just wanted to tell you that your car is on fire. You're so not popular. Ugh, I don't even want to talk to you. Who is it, sis? Who is it? Um, it's Molly and trying to tell your big sister that your car out there is on fire. I got it. Don't worry. I'm putting it out with a fire extinguisher. I don't need you to tell me if my car is okay or not, okay? Rude! I was just trying to help you because your really expensive car is on fire. Ugh. Nobody appreciates me anymore in this game. Molly, maybe you just need to have a better attitude, seriously. That's the last time I stop and tell somebody that their car's on fire. Molly, maybe an ice cream would make you feel better. Actually, Daisy, that sounds like a great idea. I think an ice cream would make me feel better. Well, let's do it then. Perfect! Hello? Is anybody here that works here? Oh, don't tell me they quit again. <sighs> the ice cream person who always works here always quits. Ugh, fine. I guess I'll just do it myself. How many scoops do you want? Molly, you don't work here. Well, I do right now. I'll have two scoops of birthday cake, please. Here you go. Wait a minute. <laughs> Donate that, Daisy. I saw a bug in it. Oh, ew, gross. Okay, I guess we're not getting ice cream. Like I said, this has been the worst day ever. Oh, hi. I was supposed to be running this shop today, but I'm also running the salon. So, you know, I could get you an ice cream if you want. No, there's bugs in the ice cream. Ew. Oh, yeah, the owner told me about that yesterday, and I forgot to change it. Oopsie. Ugh. Everybody in Brookhaven is annoying me. Molly, seriously, it's not that bad. Hey, 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 you can't ride on the back of our car. Um, well, I totally am. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going where you guys go. Nope, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Molly! Everyone is making me insane right now. Ugh, look at that loser. Oh, there she is again. She was telling us our car was on fire, and our car is totally fine. Bye, then. Hate to see your car just being on fire and nobody helping you. Whatever. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. I'm super hungry. 
Whatever. I don't even care if we have dinner. Oh, hi, Daisy. How was school? It was good, Mom. I had I had a lot of tests, but I did good on them. Good job. Oh, oh, hi, Molly. Oh, you look like you had a really rough day. She did, but it's mostly just her attitude. Daisy, be quiet. Okay, Molly, do you want to talk about it? You just look super unhappy. Um, not really. I just, I just want to go about my day. Just wish that it was over already. Hey, Molly. <laughs> Look what I'm watching. Oh, man. Not this again. Dad, we've watched this video a million times. And I'll watch it a million more. It's so funny. Dad, it's not funny anymore. Let's just watch something else, okay? Um, no. I want to watch this, and I'm the grown-up, and I pay the bills, and I get to watch it. Dad! Sorry, Molly. Did you have a bad day or something? <sighs> yeah, I had a horrible day. Molly, I need you to start doing your chores, okay? It's your turn to do the dishes. What? I, we didn't even eat dinner yet. I know, but I made a lot of dishes while I was cooking, so um, you have to do, do them twice. What? Uh, no! Sorry, Molly. It's just the way it goes sometimes. It's your responsibility to do the dishes. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? It sounds like you have an upset stomach or something. Yeah, I'm fine. Totally fine. Oh, Molly, is it your turn to mop the floor? I accidentally spilled my drink on the floor. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. I mopped him yesterday. Why is it my turn to have to do all these chores? I accidentally spilled my drink. Better bring them up. Ah, uh, Dad! Where's the spill, Dad? Right there. Pretty much everywhere. Oh. Dad, you have to be more careful with your drink. I know. <laughs> do you want me to mop it? Nah, I wouldn't dream of asking anyone to do any of my chores. Most especially when I'm having the world's worst day. Oh, I wish. I wish more than anything. Everybody in Brookhaven would disappear. <laughs> you can wish all you want, but we're still here, Molly. Yeah, we're still here, Molly. Molly, it's your favorite squid sandwiches. Ah, oh, squid sandwiches. Gross, Mom. I don't want to eat that. Molly, it's good for you. You need to eat things that are good for you sometimes. Now, eat your squid sandwich. I don't want to eat a squid sandwich. Today's the worst day of my entire life. <laughs> I really do wish more than anything that everybody disappeared. <laughs> Mom, why do I have to eat a squid sandwich? Mom? Mom? Daisy? D Dad? Where'd you all go? Whoa, it's really quiet in here all of a sudden. Guys, d d stop pranking me guys mom dad daisy o-m-g my wish came true everyone has disappeared okay i have to go out into town and make sure everyone really did disappear <laughs> this is insane whoa no one's at the pool or the daycare no one's coming out of the school or in the bank no one's shopping or at the cleaners. No one's anywhere. OMG! My wish came true! My wish came true! Ah, oh, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> First, I'm gonna go over here to the park, go down the water slide. Oh, it's gonna be so quiet. No one's gonna want me to do any chores. No one's gonna be annoying. No one's gonna be mean to me. It's just me, myself, and I. Oh, yeah. Whee! <laughs> okay, I'm going up the slide backwards because there's no lifeguard here. And they can't be annoying about it. Whee! <laughs> Wait a minute, is that a helicopter? Oh, things about to get cool around here. Now, I've never driven a helicopter before, but I'm sure it can't be that hard, right? Taking off! Whoa! 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 Okay, this may have been a bad idea. Um, how do I fly this thing? Um, okay, uh, this, like this, uh, uh-oh. Oh my god, I'm in a crash! Ah, somebody help! Uh, wait a minute, there's no one here to help me. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I could just land it. Oh, I, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna go down to the propeller! 
Oh, oh. Okay, uh, obviously I need to take classes on how to crash. I mean, not crash a helicopter. I think I might have just crashed it into the building. Um, oopsie! <laughs> well, good thing I can't be arrested for that. Nobody's here. Hmm, what do I want to do now? I think that I'll go get ice cream! Let's see, do any of these not have bugs in it? Chocolate looks pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Wow. It's really quiet. There's there's no one to talk to. It's just me all by myself. It's it's kind of lonely. Even though everybody was really annoying me, I I I, I think I might have made a mistake. I mean, who am I gonna talk to? Okay, well, I, I, I'm I sure there's somebody that I could talk to, right? Um, uh, hey, wait, I have an idea. Hi, Mr. Monkey. Um, say something. You're my only friend now. You're my only friend. Say something, monkey. Say something. It's no use. This monkey, it's just a stuffed monkey. It's not going to say anything. And if it did, I think I might be going a little crazy. <sighs> just... I wish more than anything that my family would come back. Are they here? Is everybody here? N no. But, but wait, I wished. Does this mean that my wish will never be taken back? Wait a minute. The last time I was crying. Maybe it's my tears that make it work. Okay, yeah. Um, okay. Here we go. I'm going to try to cry. I really do miss my family. <laughs> I miss everybody in Brookhaven. It's so lonely here without everyone. Please, come back. Come back. Molly, what are you crying about? Daisy, are you real? Or am I just imagining you? Imagining me, Molly? Did you get a bonk on your head? What? No. Daisy, I'm just so glad to see you. Molly, why are you hugging me? You never want to hug me, except for when it's Christmas, and I bought you lots of Christmas presents. I'm just so, I'm so happy to see you. Molly, I, it's going to be okay. What, what's wrong? I wish that you would, you would disappear, and you did. Oh, that explains why I can't remember what happened to me for the last two hours. I thought maybe I got a bonk on my head. Molly, I think you've learned your lesson. Never wish that everybody would disappear ever again. Don't worry, Daisy. I won't. I won't! Okay, but, um, let's go into the ice cream shop and get some ice cream, okay? Sounds good to me. Ooh, it looks like they don't have bugs in their ice cream anymore. Well, that's good. Daisy, you ate the last thing of mint chocolate chip. Sorry, Molly, it's my favorite. But it's my favorite, too. Ugh, I wish you'd disappear. Really, Molly? Really? Um, yeah, sort of. You're never gonna learn, Molly. You'll never learn. Hello? This is Laura. Hey, Laura. It's Dan. Remember we met the other day at the coffee shop? Oh, hey, Dan. <laughs> I um, was wondering if you were ever going to call me. Yeah, <laughs> I've I've been out of um, town for a work trip, but as soon as I got back, I called you because I was wondering, do you want to go on a date with me? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. How about we go on a date, like, now? Oh, um, yeah, okay, I don't have plans tonight. You don't? That's awesome. Um, all right, well, I could pick you up in, like, an hour. Uh, okay, sounds good. Bye! Bye! Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello, this is Laura. <laughs> Sorry, it's me again. I forgot to ask for your address. Oh, sure. <laughs> I forgot to give it to you. <laughs> Silly me. It's 1275 Main Street. Okay, see you in an hour. Bye. OMG, Dan called me for a date. I was hoping he was going to. He's super cute and he seems really nice. But I can't wear this on our first date. Oh my gosh, what am I going to wear? Okay, don't panic, don't panic. You can look cute in less than an hour, right? I think. Oh my gosh, I hope so. Um, um, shh. Wait, he didn't say what we were doing. Should I dress casual? Should I dress up? Uh, should I wear a dress? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Um, um, how about this? <laughs> definitely not. How about this? No, definitely not. This? Yes. Actually, this is pretty cute. I mean, it's casual enough, right? Well, I don't know. The jeans are ripped. Oh my gosh, I can't make a decision. <sighs> okay, what about this one? Oh, this is super cute. Yeah, 
totally casual, but dressy enough if he takes me somewhere sort of nice. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he takes me to like a really fancy restaurant, then I should wear a, a dress. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, I need to breathe. <sighs> or I will be totally stressed out for my first date instead of having fun. Oh, it's Dan, I think. He's wearing a helmet. Um, Wait a minute, why is he wearing a helmet? Hey, Laura, it's me. Oh, hey, Dan, come on in. What an adorable little house you have. Thank you. <laughs> I've worked really hard to fix it up. It was a total destructive mess when I moved in. Oh, well, it's really nice. Thank you. So, um, do you like to ride motorcycles? I, I don't know. I've never ridden one. They seem a little scary. Oh, they do? Oh, <laughs> well, I love riding motorcycles, and I brought one to pick you up for our date. Well, I guess I'm going to find out if they're scary or not. Okay, do you have a helmet? No. Don't worry, you can borrow one of mine. Okay. Um, this helmet makes me look a little cheesy. Well, it'll make you look safe, and that's all that matters. Are you ready for your first motorcycle ride? Ready as I'll ever be. Hang on tight. Oh my gosh. Ah! I didn't say hang on that tight. Seriously, you're putting your claws into my back. Sorry, I've never ridden on one, and I'm just a little scared. Ah! Wait a minute. I think I kind of like this! Yay! It's fun! Oh man, sometimes I never understand girls. So where are we going on our first date? Um, I was thinking we could head over to the diner for some dinner. Sound good? Sounds great, Dan! Let's go! I love the Brooks Diner. It's delicious. I know, right? It is super good. Ah, that bike ride was super fun. I think I could totally get into riding motorcycles. I'm glad, because if we have another date, this is probably how I'll pick you up. Another date? Hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's see how this one goes first. <laughs> yeah, of course. Let's go! Uh, you want to take your helmet off? Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Sit wherever you want. Okay, thanks! How's here, Laura? Oh, this is perfect, Dan. Ah, I love this place. It's just so cozy. Yeah, I hope this is really special. I wanted our first date to be, well, cool and amazing. It's going to be, Dan. Don't worry. Hi, good evening. Welcome to Brooks Diner. What can I get for you, sugars? Um, this is a special occasion, so, um, why don't you bring us out some filet mignon and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do you think this is, like, a restaurant at the Taj Mahal? Uh, I'm not sure they have any restaurants in the Taj Mahal. Yeah, okay, whatever. Well, I told you, this is a fancy first date. Well, if you wanted it to be fancy, why'd you bring her to the diner? You could have taken her somewhere nice. This this is nice enough, right? Well, I guess I can wipe down the table at least once, get the crumbs out of here. Oh yeah, that'll make it much nicer. Okay, what you gonna have, sugar? I'll have a cheeseburger. Mmm, sounds good. Really? You don't want filet mignon? Nah, <laughs> I'm not a fancy girl like that. I'm good with a cheeseburger. Extra fries, too, please. I'll have the same. All right, coming right up. I'm sorry this wasn't fancier. I, I guess I should have thought ahead. Dan, this is perfect. I love cheeseburgers and fries. Totally casual. We can just talk. Talk? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. We're going to have to do some talking. I don't know what to say. Well, you're saying a lot right now, Dan. Yeah, uh, sometimes my mouth works before my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I forgive you in advance if you say anything silly. Wait, did I say something silly already? Here you go, kids. Enjoy. Oh, uh, no, you didn't say anything wrong, Dan. So far, I'm having a great first date. What about you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you seem like a really cool girl, and you're, well, super pretty. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Mm, this burger is delicious. I couldn't agree more. So, to finish off our date, I thought we'd go horseback riding. Wait, what? Horseback riding? Yeah, haven't you ever learned to ride a horse? Uh, no. I live in this day and age. Uh, do I look like I know how to ride a horse? I drive a car. Riding a horse is super fun, especially if you want to pretend you're a cowboy, which I do at least once a week. Um, I don't know about riding a horse. 
Come on, where's your sense of adventure? You've already ridden a motorcycle, and now you're going to ride a horse for the first time. It could be fun. Aw, uh, I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Nah, it'll be great. Come on. Thanks so much for the food. Ah, uh, your girlfriend doesn't look like she's having a good time. She's not my girlfriend yet. Oh, no. Oh, I have to try to ride a horse. This is going to be bad. Oh, I can pay for mine, Dan. No way. I took you on the state. I'm going to be nice. I'm paying for all of it. Oh, thanks. This is my horse. Uh, his name is Artex. Oh, wow. Where's my horse? Your horse is over there, pooping on the ground. Oh, man. And there's a shovel for you to clean it up. Ew, no way, Dan. Hey, it's a part of horseback riding. No, no, and no. Okay. Ugh, well, let's go meet your horse. He seems kind of crazy. He's not even all the way in his stall. <laughs> Dan, was that you or the horse? Okay, I was trying to talk to the horse. <laughs> all right, for real, though. Oh, Dan, I like your cowboy hat. That's funny. Hi, horse. You should try talking to your horse. I am. No, in horse horse talk. Okay. Nay. Hi. <laughs> I don't think the horse likes me. Come on, Laura. We're going to miss this awesome sunset. Okay. Okay, nice horse. Ow, he's trying to bite me. He probably just drink, wants a drink of water. No, he seems mean. Dan. No such thing as a mean horse. Just an untamed one. Come on. Um, he's sort of running into things. I, I think he might be blind. Ow, horse! You just ran me into that pole and that one too. Ow! Okay, now that we've gone through the arena, you're ready to go out on the road. What? No, I'm not. Dan! Come on, Laura, you can do this. Yeah, except for my horse has, like, got a mind of his own. Horse! You've got to call him by his name. It's a girl, and her name is Jade. Okay, well, tell Jade to get going. Ah! Oh my gosh, she's jumping over all these things! She's supposed to do that, Laura. Okay, well, Jade keeps trying to bite my leg. Oh, you got a disgruntled horse. I know, right? <sighs> it's still a great date, though, right? Uh, yeah, you're fabulous. Okay, let's run up that hill. Are you ready? Uh, not really, Dan! Come on! Giddy up! Oh my gosh, this seems like... Ah, stop trying to bite me, Jade! Well, you needed a better horse, I could tell already. Yeah, this horse is going crazy! Hey, horse! What? Horse, what are you doing? Ah, Dan! Your horse is just fine. Just t be the one that's in control. Okay. Wait, Laura, don't keep going. You're gonna go over the edge. Oh. Laura! Ah! Oh my gosh, I can't stop and the horse keeps going! Jade, stop! Whoa! Tell her to whoa! Whoa! Jade, you crazy horse! Ah! Laura? Laura, are you... Laura? Oh my god! Jade, get off of her! Laura! Laura! Say something! I... 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 Uh... Oh my gosh, Laura, hold on! I, I'll take you to the hospital! Everything's gonna be fine! I gotta mean a horse. I know, I'm so sorry! Please don't say you won't date me again, because I really like you. I mean, that is if you survive this. Uh... Hang on, Laura. We're almost there. Doctor, doctor, quick. And take my girlfriend to x-ray. Wait, did you just call me your girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Will you be my girlfriend? If I survive this, yes. Aww. What seems to be the problem here? My girlfriend, she got a crazy horse and it jumped off a, a cliff and landed on her and... And I think she's got some broken bones. Oh, my. Let's take her right to x-ray. Right this way. Okay. Laura, hang on. I didn't lose my hearing. I can still hear. Okay, I'm going to put you on this table, okay? Okay. Oh, you dropped me, Dan! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, okay. You're in there now. Laura, uh, everything's going to be okay. Okay, her results are in from her x-ray. She's pretty much broken, well, every bone in her body. What? What? Yes, but there's small breaks, so you should be able to walk again. Maybe. Oh my gosh! I paralyzed my new girlfriend! Oh. I don't think I'm ever going to walk again. It's over for me, Dan. It's over. 
Laura, don't say that. We're going to get you out of bed, and you're going to walk. Yeah, I'm very sorry about this. Tragic, this horseback riding stuff sometimes. I mean, unless you get a good horse, they can go wild and throw you off, step on you, kick you. What? Oh, I'm never going to walk again. Yes, you will, Laura. Yes, you will. Laura, you're doing it. Come on, just a little farther. Oh, I can't, Dan. It's too hard. Laura, you have to fight for this. You want to walk again, don't you? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. You got this. I know you can. You can do it. Thanks for being here to cheer me on, Dan. Even after all these weeks in the hospital, you still come by every day. Yeah, well, I believe in you, Laura, and I really have grown to care about you. Wait, what? What did you say? I, I, I love you. Are you serious right now? I sure am. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting better. We could go to the diner when you get out of the hospital. That sounds like a great idea, but let's not ever horseback ride again. Agreed. <laughs> well, it was a pretty crazy first date. That's for sure. But at least we ended up together. <laughs>